Hi, I'm Jeff Lancashire for Build TV. By now, most of us have heard the term green building. In fact, it's become one of the biggest buzzwords in the entire industry. But mention the term green remodeling, and there's a great deal of confusion between homeowners and contractors as to what the term really means. In fact, it's arguably more prevalent than its new construction counterpart, once you understand what green remodeling really encompasses. To give us that framework, we've asked Stephen Tenter of Cook Brothers, a design-build remodeling firm in Arlington, Virginia, that focuses its efforts on environmentally conscious projects. Hi, Steve. Thanks for joining sure. us. Could you briefly define green remodeling for us? Sure. Um, green remodeling is uh, the techniques used in making informed decisions when you're looking at a remodeling project. Uh, that's going to give you a project that is uh, earth-friendly, whether it be energy efficiency or using products that are eco-friendly to, to develop, uh, but just making informed decisions about the things you do. We've heard a lot about certification programs and rating systems. How do those measure up in terms of remodeling as opposed to new construction? Some of the programs, uh, in, in terms of the localities, we have a program that we use called the Arlington Green Home Choice Program. And um, it, it's a little more challenging for remodeling. Uh, when you're talking about a uh, new construction project, you're starting with a clean slate. Whereas when you're doing remodeling projects, you, you've got an existing structure that you're already dealing with. So in terms of uh, doing certain things like insulation values, you could super insulate your new space, but you still have uh, a lot of the older houses don't have sufficient insulation in the existing spaces. So you have to find a balance of what makes sense in terms of uh, the budget of the project and what's going to give you the, the best return on, on your investment. How close were you to compliance? Um, well, when you have a green, uh, the, the green certification program, you use, uh, it's a point system that they've developed. They give you certain ratings and point values for different techniques and products that you use. And when we first started looking at uh, a project to have it certified uh, by the localities, uh, we probably got about 70% to, to the level of certification without doing anything different. Uh, there are certain things that you do in green remodeling uh, on the building end of it, uh, certain building techniques that a quality builder should be doing anyway uh, in terms of um, insulating uh, the insulation values, sealing your, your Tyvek, uh, caulking your framing. Those things don't cost a lot of money, but they, they really return very heavily uh, on the finished product. Okay, now let's shift gears and get into some specific solutions that meet the definition of green remodeling. What makes the biggest impact? Uh, I mean, that's a, a difficult question to answer. It really depends on which angle you're looking at, uh, whether it's energy efficiency or the, the product selections. Um, like I said earlier, there, there are different things you can do in terms of the insulation values, uh, whereas insulating the walls in an, ex an existing house probably not going to, it's going to cause you to have to tear up a lot of things, the existing wall finishes and things like that. But uh, replacing the existing windows in the existing uh, house, that's going to be a, a pretty big return for in, in terms of energy efficiency. All right, well, what if a homeowner just wants to update their kitchen or add a room and their budget doesn't accommodate a whole house approach? Are they still getting an environmentally sound project? Sure, as long as you're going to make uh, the informed decisions, uh, there are products that you can select, uh, there are things you can do in terms of using um, compact fluorescent bulbs in your light fixtures, um, you can avoid using recessed lighting fixtures, things like that, uh, even on smaller projects that you can do that uh, will help you earn a green certification or at least do the right thing in terms of, of trying to make a, a project green. So for instance, what can a remodeler do to apply green remodeling principles to a kitchen or bath project? Uh, there's a number of things. Uh, like I mentioned, you could use, stay away from things like recessed lights, which are kind of which can uh, use a lot of electricity, a lot of, uh, and also you can't insulate around the uh, the fixtures. We can use recycled products uh, in terms of countertops. You can use ice stone or some of the other products that are made from recycled uh, goods. You can also deconstruct and reuse products rather than throwing away. Instead of throwing away all your cabinets you can reuse them somewhere else so you're not clogging up the landfill with things like that. Now you've given us a lot of great solutions. Now what's the biggest roadblock to this? I think the biggest roadblock is probably uh, people's attitudes. Uh, you know, In terms of a remodeling contractor, a lot of times the smaller companies, the, the owner of the company is wearing a lot of hats and uh, 
to, you know, to, to think about putting on another hat and learn a whole new way of building for green remodeling, it can be a little uh, intimidating at first, but it really is not uh, as difficult as, as people think. Uh, there are a lot of resources out there, um, and if you just put the thought into it, you do a little bit of more of the uh, research up front and define the products and the, the, the techniques you're going to use, it can really pay off in the long term for a remodeler. Great advice from an expert in the field. Thanks a lot, Steve, for joining us. Sure. And thank you for watching. Tune in again next time for more ideas to help you build your business. For Build TV, I'm Jeff Lancashire.